What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more eSports UFC 3, this episode number 4. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Thank you so much for your support. Without further ado, let's dive straight back into some more career mode. We have scheduled a camp against Catherine Brosseau. I think that's how you say her name, but we are going to be training at the boxing gym today, or the kickboxing gym. I may do a full four weeks. I think, no, we'll just do three. We'll just do three. Now, she is a striker, I think, this uh, this fighter. So, it is going to be a stand-up war, hopefully. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you want to see more EA Sports UFC free career mode on the channel, all you have to do is smash that like button. Let me know in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's get training. Let's get slugging away. Let's get on the grind, and let's get fit for this fight. So, uh, we need to get about, I think it's about 70-odd fitness before we can actually spar. And there we go. We're, uh, we're at moderate fitness now. We need to uh, just get the sparring up to get our fitness there. And then we can work on training up our attributes and tweeting out to maybe promote the fight a little bit. Um, but here we go. So a brawler will block your strikes over, over head movement. If she doesn't block... If she moves her head, it's... Um, oh, she blocks overhead movement. So she's going to block instead of moving her head, which is kind of kind of good, I suppose. Okay, let's go. Does she not want to throw today? Okay, yeah, she does. Okay, now I think maybe Leslie Chow has the uh, chance to become such a good champion. I feel like she could be an absolute beast in this weight nice class. Uh, and I'm, she may even be better than her brother from the lightweight division. Uh, and he did destroy that division. So if we get a fighter that is better than him, then we are in for some That's dope shit. See. Oh, good shot, dude. God damn, she's fucking me up. Getting some back, though. Good head kick there. She's rocked. Good uppercut there. She caught me one of her own, though. Okay, so I'm going to look to implement some elbows and some knees into my arsenal as well. Thank you for the suggestion. Oh, my God. We knocked her out. That has never happened to me before. What the fuck happens now? Okay. Let's go. Let's carry on. You sure you're okay to spar? We just absolutely murdered you. Oosh. Down again, oh my god. Absolute beast in the cage is Leslie Chow. Oh my god. She is a killer. I can't wait to get in there and uh, hopefully come away with another W. Your opponent cannot defend hooks, try to use it, or... Wait, try to use right or left sways to get in close and then land a hook. Okay, that's what we kind of do anyway. Uh, we're, more, we're more far off the kicks, but... I mean, that's probably the best sparring session we've ever had on UFC 3. We absolutely destroyed our sparring partner there and even knocked her out. Which is crazy. Okay, we're going to get this fitness up now. And one week is down. We still have two weeks left to train. Maybe we should do a little post to social media. Or something like that. Let's do that real quick. Let's go. What have we got? Uh, motion capture consolation. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? So we are, I'll be able to like, predict the fights and stuff now. That is something that we was doing when we got further up the ranks in the UFC. The first career mode we did. So... We have some footwork injuries there. Shouldn't bother us too much, I don't think. But hopefully it isn't an issue later on in the fight. Hopefully we can go out there and do what we do best and close the show. That would be kind of nice. Uh, let's go to that. Let's get that fight hype up a little bit. And I think we will do the other predict the fight as well. Win by knockout. I'm going to say round two. Round two knockout. We're going to take our time with our opponent and uh, wait for the right opening there. Accuracy is nearly on 100 already. Absolute striking demon in this weight class. She's going to be an absolute killer. Uh, we want to train some defense if we can as well. Just get some of that up. And then we might as well do that. I mean, why the hell not? Fight week is upon us. Wish Chow would concentrate on fighting and not this nonsense. Hell no. We are 8 0 for a reason. We have been concentrating on our fight. And do not say that. So here we go. Fight week. Here we go. We have a medium fight height, which is pretty good as well, seeing that we are only 8-0. Uh, let's go. Let's do it, though. Let's get in there and uh, go to the big time once more. This should be pretty good. Hopefully, we don't lose. Fingers crossed. I'm, I'm kind of nervous for our uh, our little character. She's a beast. But there we go. Leslie Chow is UFC's latest crossover sensation. Okay. If social media's reaction is to be believed, Leslie Chow is not just a hot prospect in the strawweight division, but a legitimate MMA sensation. And if any more proof was needed, just look at her upcoming bout against Catherine Brassou. Brassel, making it clear that she isn't she isn't fighting for herself, but for a loyal fan base that will follow her wherever she goes. Another head kick knockout. This could be fingers crossed. UFC minute. What do you got to tell us about it? I'm Magna Levy, and this is your UFC minute. As a fighter's wins begin to add up, the pressure to maintain momentum becomes a major factor. Every fighter who competes in the octagon will tell you that she will take a win by any means possible. Hey, but as one of press the UFC's top strikers, 
This Better. woman's straw weight star is taking the judges out of the equation. Oh, we are. Uh... She has used fists and feet to finish each of her opponents during her winning streak by fate. way of Just spectacular fate. knockout. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right. Coming up next. Here we go. Rosal v Chow. I don't know if we fought her already, but this could be an awesome fight. Here we go. Chow entering the octagon first. She is ready. We're starting to fill more seats, as you can see, around the arena. More well, people are actually starting really to turn up to watch us fight, which is pretty beast. Is but here we are. Can we perform again tonight under the lights? This will be 9-0 and oh if we win this fight. Absolutely amazing record to start things off. But here we go. Upright, that is where my biggest advantage in the fight is. Really, really technical sound. Powerful, fast striker. She looks She's undefeated. Can she She's leave cool. the octagon tonight? Striker. Undefeated. I hope so. Whew, I'm kind of nervous for this. Let's go. Let's get into it. Let's stand and fucking trade. Let's do this. You and your cornrows ain't gonna hold up after this. Let's go. Really? Re really? Re <laughs> what? We've got so much power. Oh, okay. Okay, she's here. Okay. Oh, she's here. She want to throw? So I just checked and we're playing on throw. What a kick. So accurate there. And we're not even going to finish her yet. Nice body kick there. Dude, we've got so much strength. These motherfuckers can't handle us. She's stumbling. Look, she's drunk, dude. What the fuck? Oh, what a knockdown. Oh my god. Well, she's able to get back up here, but man, look how wobbly she is. Wow. That's a big hook. Oh, Just mixing in them kicks. Kick. Starting to take my time here. Well, she leaned right into that uppercut, Joe. Not a good look there. We'll see if she can make some adjustments here. And those adjustments would start by just getting those gloves and getting those hands up to prevent any further damage. And she connects there. Oh, every oh, shot hurting her here. That power that we trained early on in our career is really coming through. Coming through for us now. And she's out. What a left hook. First round knockout. Insane. There we go. Leslie Chow does it again. Whew. She kind of brought it, but I mean, we actually finished someone with a hook for a change instead of a kick. I mean, that's the first fight we haven't knocked someone out of a kick. That was quite a good fight, though. She did bring it a little bit, and uh, she landed some shots there as well. Uh, but we go on to six consecutive uh, finishes. And uh, that, that's just awesome. We are badass. And uh, there we go. We gained some popularity. And we're just, we're just going up. It's all it's all awesome. Well, I'm really enjoying this series. Hope you guys are too. Um, everything's going swell so far. I just don't think... I think we trained the power up so much in uh, in this fight and in this uh, career mode. And I think like the lower level characters that we're just cracking, they're just not able to take it. They're, just, when they're not on the same wavelength in terms of strength. Okay, so Chow proves she's the real deal tonight. Can't wait to see what's next. Rim, win. Rim, move forward. Repeat. I'll fight whoever's next. I'm ready for anyone. Uh, then start looking to settle some scores. We'll do that. Okay. You got lucky, Chow. That won't be the case when I see you. I don't even care if I've seen the octagon or not. I don't believe in luck. Just hard work. Hell yeah. That is it. Leslie Chow. An absolute role model. Let's do it. One fight down already in this episode. Eight minutes in. Let's get another one. Let's see who they put in front of us. Put in front of me and we'll see what we can do against them. That's how we're going to do this. We're not going to duck anybody. Any big fight that comes our way, we will take. And if we lose, we lose. That is how it goes. I really want to fight her with the pink hair because she looks like a beast. Okay, what else have we got? We've got Abby Yang. We have Olivia Norman, 13-1. and And we have Tatina Solkov. Okay, so I guess we're going to do this. She has got some more grappling than us, but... Fuck the grappling, we're going to smoke her. Let's do it, let's do it. She's only 13 and 1 though, so she's a bit of a beast. Oh, let's go. Okay, she belongs to the gym. And she belongs to that gym. Okay, we could do... Do you know what? I think we are actually going to train some jujitsu just because it probably will help us out a little bit, won't it? Let's go for a four-week training camp. And uh, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. This could be pretty awesome. She's a grappler, like I said, and uh, she's going to look to take us down. We haven't actually fought any real faces yet. 
I think by now in the last career mode we had already fought like Will Brooks or someone like that, but that's all good. It's kind of good to compare and see where we're at with all that stuff. But here we go. This is more of a grappling gym. As you can see, we are very low in all these stats, but it's okay. It's okay. I think it's best we train something like this just because she is a she's a grappling girl, so we don't want to fuck with that. Train that a little bit. Let's get there to the sparring. And then the first week is done. We are trying to get to main fitness before we increase our stats. But let's spar. Let's go. What have you got for us? Let's do it. If she's anything like the last sparring partner, we absolutely smoked her. So, god damn. Here we go. Good crack. Boom. Oh, good strike. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Play room with the kick. For a few hooks. Another kick. Oh, good body shot. Good slip by Chow. Boom. Okay, let's go. Boom. That's how you block. I feel like I've got a lot better at the game. And I think I will as the uh, career modes go on. That's how you block. Good block. There we go. Boom. Nice straight. Tried to go. bait him with a the kick there, but didn't pay off. Good uppercut. Good slip. There we go. Fucking machine, this girl. 93 fitness. That is pretty damn awesome, if you ask me. We're going to be moving on and hopefully increasing some of our takedown defense, stuff like that. Your opponent doesn't like elbows. I will implement some in. I just need to train and learn some elbows at a kickboxing gym, I think, and then we should be good to go. And uh, some knees would be nice as well. I did hear your comment, buddy. Uh, I think your name is Gal. I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, and I kind of don't want to butcher your name because you're such an awesome dude, and you always support the video, so thank you so, so much for that. You could easily go and watch a, just a bigger subscribe channel and stuff like that, but it really means a lot. You come check out my videos every time I upload them. So big shout out to you, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, what have we got here? I would like to train some defense, but we can't get any on that, so... Let's go 99 accuracy already. Jesus. Submission defense is probably something I should work on as well. Here we go. Okay, what else have we got? Can we do takedown defense yet? Damn it, we can't. We've got minus one. That's bad. That is really bad. Oh, God. Okay. The week is over. I think we have one more week of training. We've got 221,000 fans already. That is insane. I didn't think we had that many, which is uh, crazy. Okay, let's get this fight hype up. I'm going to go knockout round one. Uh, that's probably not going to happen, but... Let's go to some fight hype as well. And uh, then we can train some more. Let's go for some top game. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, submission offense. Well, I mean, we're not really going to try and pull a submission out of the bag here, but... Um, it's kind of nice to have it. We're getting these stats up very nicely. We uh, we look a lot better than what Chow did at the start of his career. And uh, I think his sister is going to be a two-weight world champion. I'm saying it now. It probably isn't going to happen, but could you imagine? That'd be so cool. Let's go, right. Let's do some promoting here. Gym discount, popularity. Let's do some of that. There we go. Olivia Norman doesn't know what's coming. I'm ready for anything. Let's knock that pink hair off her face. Let's go. Um, what else have we got? I want to train defense. Can we train takedown? We can't steal, really? 87 head movement. She is a killer. Strike speed. I want to get this up a tad. I think 105 is uh, the limit you should kind of be avoiding. So I think we're good for now. 102, that is perfect. We are in prime condition. Let's get in there and trade with this one. Let's go. Fight week is here. Fight hype is low. Medium is not bad. Nearly a fight. Nearly a high, I think. High fight hype. So here we go. Let's get in there. Let's see what Olivia Norman brings to the table. 9-0 and now. We could be 10-0 and with this. I think by now, Chow may have lost the fight. I'm not too sure. But I am scared. I am very scared. I know we have our rival fight coming up very, very soon. And here we go. Friends to foe. Chow and Norman collide in the octagon. Wait, we were, fight? We were friends? Shit. They were once teammates and sisters in arms, but now a friendship turned bitter rivalry will be settled in the octagon when Olivia Norman faces Chow. And while this is an exciting stylistic matchup between two of the best in the world, fans are focusing on the bad blood between the former friends since Chow left the team. Norman stated that she is looking forward to sending a message to her opponent on fighting. Like, oh, shit. That's kind of... I feel bad. She's going to bring it. Hey, everyone.
everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. It came as a shock to the MMA community when this fighter left her longtime gym recently. But that surprise was nothing compared to the reaction felt around the globe when she agreed to fight her longtime training partner in a compelling matchup that highlights this weekend's UFC card at Air Damn. Canada Center in Toronto, Ontario. That's it for today. Stay tuned. Wait, we're for headlining, did she say? Minute, and I'll see Shit. You at the fights. See you at the fights, and Megan. Next, Norman UFC V. Chow, she looks like a killer. Match. She's absolutely going to get in there and destroy me, ain't she? But <laughs> it's all part of it, I suppose. Let's go. All Chow, set. Norman, let's do it. Ready? Hopefully, we can get a win. Ready? Please, come on. Round one. Let's go. I well, doubt we're going to touch gloves, are we? All right, let's go. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, shit, good kick. You see that coming? You see that coming. Three straight wins, all of them by flush knockout. We'll see if she can keep it going here tonight. Boom, oh, boom, boom. Good block. Is underway, and let's see how early, Joe, she can establish her kicking game. She has got as much power in her legs as any fighter in this division. Oh! oh. She's down. There we go. That's what we want. Good start. Oh, if that kicked it out, that would have knocked her, I think. Stay busy, stay busy. Straight right. And we got a fight on our hand. That's a big hits aren't really landing. When they do this, she's gonna feel it. Good knockdown again. Okay. Let's keep our distance, focus a little bit. Oh, coming in. Caught her, she's down again. Leslie Chow putting on a show here. Good switch. And again, she's down. This could be it right here. Oh, very Another nice. body kick lands. Another head kick lands, though. And some body kicks thrown in. She is stumbling around. We're not going to be there yet. We're going to... Uh... Really threw Boom. everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Nice. Oh, solid jab. Oh. And she's out. Fuck, dude. I wanted that to go longer. Sorry, I didn't speak there for a while. I was just kind of concentrating on not getting hit. You know, that kind of sucks. But there you go. Another fight down. I kind of wanted it to go a little bit longer, but there you go. Another win. She's 10-0 and 0 now. Have we got an equal in this division? At the minute, I think not. But I think Dredgecheck is going to get her hands on us and throw us all around that ring. God damn. I'm scared. But there we go. We've got some cash. We've got everything else there. Pretty awesome. We just got to carry on now. I think maybe we got one more fight left in this video. Who it is going to be is uh, yet to be seen. But this is pretty badass. Is she a seer? That was amazing. We did predict a first round knockout, I suppose. But I thought it was going to last longer. She seemed like a beast. Like she had a bit of striking. And yeah, I just thought that would be a longer fight. The other fight lasted longer than that. Okay, what we got here? What is this? Is she a seer? That was amazing. A good another hook as well lands, which is pretty nice. Another hook has put someone down and out. So that's uh, that's pretty badass. I think I'm going to get back to the kickboxing gym and uh, train now. I could train a little bit more jiu-jitsu. Maybe I'll do that for a little bit. But here we have two more fights left. Uh, we have one more fight and then we are fighting Felice Herring. Herring? I don't know if she's any good. But, I mean, it, it, it can't be as bad as all, all the people we're fighting. Okay, we have some fighters here. We have Brianna Schwartz. Okay, we have Tatina Solkov. And we have Sophie Anderson. 12 and 3, 12 and 5, and 12 and 2. Okay, we're going to go with the 12 and 2 chick. Let's go. Let's get in there and let's stand and trade again. Chow can't wait to get back in there and fight. Let's move. I think I may stay at this jiu-jitsu camp for a few more just to train our takedown defense a little bit so uh, we're not getting taken out too easy on the ground. Like, like Chow did against Khabib, he, uh, he, he was all on the feet. He was destroying Khabib. And if he kept the fight on the feet, he was absolutely mauling him. But as soon as he went to the ground, he was like Edson Barboza. He couldn't do shit. But, um, right, okay. So we're going to train some fitness here. Uh, we can't actually train much. What the fuck is going on with this then? Train some power. I thought the power was higher than that, really. But I guess not. Okay. Okay, we can't hardly train anything. This is shit. There we go. That's all we needed to get to. That sparring. That sparring bit there. And then we are good. So let's... Uh, Spar, I think we can't spar this week though, that's shit. We could just do a little bit of post to social media, I don't mind that. Now we're going to spar, we're going to get in there, we're going to whoop our sparring partner, hopefully, 
and uh, then we're going to head to some more stat building. Here we go. Okay, so we're fighting you again, are we? I don't think you're the chick I've smoked, but the bait are in there with the kick. The uppercut and the straight really does work. We got push kick there, there. A front kick, I think that was even. So playing the UFC games has really got me into like UFC as well. Um, I was into it a lot anyway. McGregor kind of brought me into the sport, so you could say I'm a casual. Uh, I like John Jones. Ronda Rousey wasn't like she's a great fighter, but I kind of didn't really rate her. She was a bit cocky. I wanted Holly Holm to beat her, and she she did. So that's kind of good. I do like Rousey though, and uh, good luck to her in a WWE thing she's doing. I hope McGregor comes back soon, but um, I'm excited for Khabib, but, uh, Khabib and Ferguson. I think Khabib and Magomedov is probably the best lightweight in the world. Uh, I do love McGregor, but I don't think I, I just think Khabib is too much on the ground for McGregor. A bit like Chow and Khabib, if they can keep it on the feet, uh, I think McGregor wins easy. And I think if they go on the ground, Khabib wins easy. I think that's just how the fight is going to pan out. But here we go. Let's get going onto our fight. We have. Just destroyed our sparring partner. That was kind of an even fight, I'd say. Me and the sparring partner. I missed a few shots there. I should have landed, but it doesn't really matter. That is a spar, so it, you know what? It doesn't really, doesn't really show how bad we're going to be come fight night. Hopefully, we're not going to be bad. But um, let's uh, let's spend some spend some time with our fans. We are ten and zero now, so we are starting to make waves in this division. Let's uh, let's go train some of this. I think one more of them will get us up. I just want to train something pretty nice. We do some head movement. Why not? 87 stamina as well already. That is insane. She's not gassing out for no one. 87 stamina already. That is insane. I can't believe that. I need to train some defense. Take down defense. We still can't earn any for that. That sucks. There we go. Now we can. Let's go. Let's get that up. I'm trying to make them all move together, which is kind of cool. But... Okay, train that up quite a lot. Now let's go over to the promotional side of things. I think I'll do some of this shit. And uh, hopefully, what can we do? Let's spend some time with fans on stream, why not? And I think we're going to go and gain some stuff here as well. Maybe some top game, some ground game. There we go. Right, so we're going to get to the fight. Fingers crossed this is another victory for Chow. She does deserve it. We have absolutely destroyed the opposition. And obviously in the next video, the first fight. Oh, I just hit go to next week. No, what was I doing? Why did I do that? I hit the wrong button. Oh, shit. Well, that could end bad then. That's terrible. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, well, if we come up short, it's our fault. I, uh, I hit the wrong button there. I was meant to hit A. I hit... What? I hit Y. What the fuck am I doing? But okay. Let's go. Chow is taking this one tonight. I really hope so. Chow will be out soon. Chow can't fight, but looks good in the event program. Don't want to be mean, but how is Chow in the UFC? God damn. We are 10-0. What are they talking about? We haven't lost a fight. How can we be bad, bro? Come on. I don't think we're bad. Let's keep moving. Well, let's go. Schwartz v. Chow. We've been here before. Can we be here again? Can we turn up tonight and get a W? We're going to get straight into it. Let's stand and bang. Let's go. What have we got? And what has she got? Let's find out. Oh, my God. 13-second knockout. Conor McGregor. <laughs> no, she's down. She's down. Boom. Here we go. Good kick. We come to play. Why are they not fucking ducking this? I'm not complaining. I'm really not. Oh, knockout. Knockout, knock down. Good stopping her there. She leaves her head open quite a bit. Good hook. Oh, oh my god. Oh my fucking god. That was a three punch combo in literally like a second. Bang, bang, bang. Oh my god, we lit her up like a candle. I'm cobsmacked. Oh my god, I didn't even see him coming. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Bang. And the bottom one just clipped her, but that is enough. Absolutely destroyed. We are just a different type of animal in there. And that is it. Another first round knockout for Chow. Have we got an equal yet? That lasted. How long did that last, Bruce? Tell us. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of the very. 55 seconds, absolute killer. She hit us twice, dude. I don't know what's going. on. These are pro. This is pro difficulty. So I don't understand why they're being so difficult or being so difficult, but being so easy. Sorry, being so difficult in not fighting. 
But that is another win. I'm not complaining. We are now 11-0. I can't wait to get up in the rankings and hopefully we get some harder fights. But Chow, honestly, the power she has, it's unbelievable. I don't think these little ones can take it down here. We are usually now outmatching everyone. As, as uh, in the lightweight division, Chow was not really outmatching many people. But in this one, we're just throwing hands for days and we're just knocking people out. It's crazy. But hopefully, when we get up in the rankings, they would have higher stats as well. So it should be a more level playing field. I think the next fight is our rival fight, so I can't wait to get into that. And that will be in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support throughout this series. It's been an amazing series. I really, really enjoyed the UFC 3 stuff. And there will be every single weight class on my channel. You can uh, guarantee that. Write that in your little notepad. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button. Comment, subscribe. It really does help out. And I'll see you guys soon for another UFC 3 video. Hopefully, we can destroy Felice. And uh, yeah, that should be pretty badass. Hopefully, advance to 12-0. And uh, yeah, take it easy, guys, anyway. Um, all, if you did enjoy it, smash all that like button and stuff. You, you know what to do by now. And yeah, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you again soon.